guys! I wanted to do an update for you on my son Thomas and how everything's going with our you know, autism journey. So it is November the 4th right now, so it's been almost two months since his diagnosis. Um, since then I touched on some of this in the last video, but we got evaluated for occupational therapy, so he's going to be starting that. They recommended 8 to 12 sessions. Um, our first session will be next week. I do believe, um, and they just want to work on some of his fine and uh, gross motor. He has very poor motor planning. Essentially, he looks very clumsy, um, falls a lot, pretty much just looks like he's not paying attention um, to how he's walking or moving. Uh, so we're going to do that. We've been doing speech with both Help Me Grow and um, with Nationwide Children's Hospital, and they've done a really good job with that. We've been working on signing, speaking, and picture communication. Um, he doesn't really like any of it because we're forcing him to be social, which he hates. Um, so it's been kind of a struggle, um, but you know, we have to be stubborn about it and he will do it. Actually, the most exciting thing is, is we've gotten him to learn to sign please. Um, and he'll actually say it now too with it about 50 to 75% of the time. Not always, but he knows, you know, he'll walk up to you and do this. Usually it's to turn the light switches on or off or both. Um, but he's starting to realize the value of language and how, you know, um, to get something he wants without like crying, whining, um, or just pointing. So he's starting to realize that. The unfortunate part of that is, is that now he expects every time he says or signs please to get exactly what he wants. And when he doesn't, he goes nuts. Um, so obviously it's still, you know, a learning curve. We're trying to add stuff in with please. Um, since he was really fixated on the light switch issue, I've been trying to teach him on. Um, if he can get that down, we'll do off, because he usually just wants them on. He literally will light the house up like a Christmas tree, going around to every room, bathroom, closet, wherever there's a light, he wants it on. Um, but that's been really good. We've been using stuff like that to motivate um, him to use language. Um, but our biggest one, like I said, has been please. Um, I did, we did get a little headway on eat. Um, but sometimes he confuses that as well. Um, we went out to eat and um, I was trying to teach him, you know, please eat or eat please to get more food. Because um, he, he would readily do this. The more was a little more complicated for him. Um, and he did really good with that at the restaurant. However, when he came home and he wanted the lights turned on, he was signing eat. Because in his mind, you know, this was part of what got me stuff, you know, a little bit ago. It should work now. So obviously it's a learning curve. It's not without tantrums and, you know, struggle on um, both parts. Um, and I should say his tantrums are more meltdowns. He's really pathetic. He doesn't necessarily get as mad as he does just really sad and frustrated. Um, so it's kind of hard to watch, but we've pushed through it and he's doing better. So that's good. Um, and then with Help Me Grow, um, our person that comes out to um, work with us, we've been doing every two weeks for about an hour. And um, she also happens to be an occupational therapist, so that's good. Um, so she kind of provides suggestions with both, and that's in our home, so I don't have to go anywhere. Um, and it's nice to, for him to learn stuff, you know, with all his own toys and familiar surroundings. So that's been really helpful. Um, what is today? Is Friday? On Tuesday, we had our um, like final official feedback appointment. Um, basically, uh, the results of all the evaluations he took, um, and you know the official autism diagnosis, though they gave us the diagnosis at the first appointment. Um, the main thing we were waiting for was the cognitive evaluation, which was no surprise whatsoever. Um, his cognition tested average, um, but you know, it could even be higher than that. It's hard to completely gauge because he doesn't want to socially interact and he doesn't talk or communicate that well. He actually communicates better now than he did at the time. Um, but everything else was, you know, below average. Um, so he'll be tested every so often. I'm not sure the exact schedule just to see and make sure he's responding to treatment. We haven't begun um, our applied behavioral um, therapy yet. We have an appointment, I think it's in like two weeks from today, um, like our intake appointment with a psychologist um, and we'll get up all his therapy set up. I want to say it's like 24 to 25 hours um, a week, I think, total. 
I know he has to meet with a psychologist every so often, and then there's a couple of therapists that will be coming out and working with him about six hours a day um, for the days that they do it. So it's pretty intensive, um, but you know, you want to lay out all that good groundwork and foundation work uh, so he does better later. Um, so it's been really, really busy trying to keep all his appointments together, my school, my work. Um, I have an injury from work that I have appointments for, so it's been really rough um, even keeping this all together. I pretty much almost can't. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Um, but the good news is, is that he's doing well so far. Um, I'm interested in seeing how well he responds to the behavioral therapy. Um, I've tried to do kind of like bits and pieces of what I know about it with him um, and just engage him more. That's kind of our homework for Help Me Grow um, to get the back and forth communication. They call it circles of communication. So, you know, I do something, he responds to me, I respond back, you know, we have a back and forth, um, which isn't really present in autism. And he's doing a little better with that. Um, pretty much we just try to use whatever is interesting to him to get what we want out of him. So for speaking and um, communicating, he likes cars and letters and numbers and shapes. So we try to use all that to teach him other things or do other things, you know, the color of the shape, um, or just when he's playing with his cars, which if you've seen the other video where he lines them up, um, he has a very specific way he plays with them, but to interact and like, you know, help him put cars in the line. He luckily doesn't do too bad um, with a change in routine. Like, um, I know some children, if you mess up their line or, you know, what they're doing, they can get really upset. He will adapt to it, which is nice. So we can kind of play around with that. And he will seek us out um, a little more for that stuff. And his sister's been awesome. Um, for the most part, with playing with him and encouraging him to do his signs, you know, like uh, he can say banana or nana. Uh, so every morning when he comes down, she's like, say nana, please. Um, but it's really cool to see her, you know, try to help. She wants to be a helper most of the time when she's not being mean and hiding his toys. Um, so overall, things are going really well. Um, like I said, we still have to nail down the whole behavioral therapy, which is the big, most intensive part, but speech, we're making progress, which is pretty cool. Um, occupational therapy, I'm not that worried about. Um, he actually is doing a little bit better with stairs. Um, not totally by himself, but he tends to more uh, have the lemming approach to stairs, where he just walks off the cliff. Um, but he's gotten a little bit better about that, even going up stairs almost completely on his own um, the other day with me behind him. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think what else we don't have to do. Any real physical therapy. Um, oh, we had Halloween and that was really cute. His sister was Pinkie Pie, who's my little pony. For those of you who don't have kids or don't know, um, they have like actual like names and characters and stuff. Now it's different than back in the 80s. Um, so she wanted to be that, and she wanted her little brother to be Spike, who's a little dragon character, uh, in that. So I made both their costumes, and he was super cute. Um, he does he didn't really trick-or-treat, you know, that's social and whatever, but he was just so happy to go on a walk around the neighborhood because he loves going on walks. So it was still really nice. He still really enjoyed it, but it was, um, kind of a little hard. Uh, we'd go around, and they, you know, people would try to give him candy or want to interact with him, and... He would just sort of basically ignore them is what it looks like um, to other people and to try to have to explain like, oh, you know, he's not really into Halloween. He just wants to walk. That was a little hard. There's been more situations like that lately where, you know, his differences um, from the normal or average are a little more apparent. And that's kind of hard because at, you know, his age for Halloween, my daughter was picking out her own costume and you know, very talkative, verbal, that was the first year she was excited for trick-or-treat, and, you know, the differences are starting to become more apparent, it's not just, like, quirks and things like that, which, it's fine, it's just kind of hard to watch sometimes, knowing I can start to see the struggles he might have in the future, and that's kind of hard to watch as a parent, um, but, you know, deal with it. We're trying to get him all the help um, that we can get him, so hopefully he, you know, does a little better with that. So then maybe next year when we trick-or-treat, he can at least, you know, go up to the house, maybe even ask, but, you know, like have a little more social interaction would be um, a good goal. So 
hopefully someday he can, you know, do it, even though he might not like it, go up, you know, ask, you know, say trick or treat, get a treat, and then, you know, say thank you, maybe not making eye contact or something, but maybe making eye contact. So we'll see. Um, it's been really nice seeing how uh, many people want to know how Thomas is uh, doing. Uh, I've gotten, you know, lots of uh, questions about how he's doing, so I, d I did want to do this update video. I want to do them weekly, but that's kind of hard to do right now, so I'm trying to go for bi-weekly every week and a half or whenever I can do it, honestly. Um, so I hope you enjoy this little update on Thomas, and thank you guys again for watching.